Okay, so in this next video, I'm going to show you how to use um, RetroArch, the um, multi emulator for PS3. Just going to scroll down to RetroArch PS3. So this is the app here. You can install it with the install package files. Or if you had your PS3 jailbroken by me, it'll be already installed. So launch it with X from the home menu. And here you will get the, um, the initial help screen here. I just press o X for OK, continue. And this this is the this is the uh loading screen, this is the the um, home screen I guess. What I do I choose a game by go going to load content detect core, press X here, and then it's gonna give you the file system here. So I'm gonna use this opportunity to explain um some of these memory locations. Dev HDD0, that's your internal hard drive, your um, internal disk drive of the PS3, whether it's uh, 40, 80, 160, 60, 120, 320, gigabyte, that's your internal hard drive. Your dev USB 000, that's going to be the USB stick plugged into the port closest to the disk drive. So this one should be USB 0, and then I have three more ports over here which could be any of the other USB 0 to the USB 6. So I'm going to try USB 0 because I, I do have the USB uh, plugged in there. And yeah, that's it. And I have my ROMs. Just browse wherever you put it. I've put some ROMs on the Nintendo NES? NES folder. Oh, yeah, NES folder. Yeah. Okay. And then you could scroll with down or you could scroll fast with right. Because there are a lot of games. Batman. Batman. Okay, so you choose a game and then it'll ask you, it'll prompt you, well, these are the emulators that support this type of ROM. I just go with Nostopia. Well, it doesn't matter. You could choose any one of them. Whatever suits your fancy the best. It'll launch the game. Yeah. And let's say we wanted to change some settings. We press the... Uh, the two analog stick buttons down to get the options All right to get the options I could change the settings like I can change the controller settings by going to settings and going to input options and I could change like the the A button the B button the whatever you know depending on what console you're playing on and press circle to go back to the home menu and press again the in log stick still back to the game. That's it. You could program, I think you could program a button to go fast forward. I, if for NES, I usually program the R2 button for fast forward because there's some games that just take so long. Um, well, you know how it is. 1989, can you see that? Ha! Uh, okay, so thanks for watching. 1989, as if I picked a game from 1980. Have a good day.